Good afternoon, it is Robin, your chocolate shirt designer, coming to you once again from my crafting corner in my living room. And I wanted to share with you another project. I love working on enamel, and I have this sign that I've been, this piece that I've been kind of waiting to do to put down at the salon. I want to put the salon name, people have a hard time finding me. Um, in my building so this is going to go on the front of the building I have one out there now but I it was just a makeshift out of vinyl letters I didn't like it so I'm going to chalk one and I'm going to be using paste on enamel because enamel <clears throat> um, is metal the transfers really stick well so you want to fuzz um, your letters before you um, place them on here but the reason for this video is most of the time you see me using already pre-made transfers that have sayings on them and um, that are already done but sometimes you want to make something <coughs> excuse me <coughs> that doesn't have that's not on a transfer so you need to individually place your letters. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. The name of my salon is Off the Top Hair Studio. So I am making um, the sign for that purpose. I just stirred my block paste because that's the color I'm going to be using. I love the look of black and white. If you haven't noticed from my videos now, I am pretty partial to black. <laughs> wear a lot of black. It's a hairdresser thing. Um, so, I'm just cleaning off my squeegee hair so it doesn't dry on there. Clean off my hands. Okay, so when I'm working with individual letters, I usually figure out the middle letter, where the middle of my board is, and I eyeball it. You could get real technical and measure everything out. I'm, I'm not that technical. So I have figured out that the H is going to be the middle because there's I'm going to do off the top on the top and then hair studio down below. So the word the is in the middle, H being the exact middle of the entire top three. So I've got the H placed. Let me get these off of here. Right where I want it. And when I do individual letters, I kind of work backwards. So I'm going to go ahead and do my H first. And because I'm going to be using the H another time, that's going to get set aside to use a second time. You don't necessarily have to wash every single time. You can use your transfers more than once. So I've got some paste on my squeegee and I'm just going to go ahead and work that across, removing my excess as I go. And we're going to pull that off and get a corner. Alright, pull that off. Now these letters are already distressed letters, so they're going to look like they're already weathered, which is the look I'm going for. Alright, so now I'm going to go back over here and take the T for, no, I'm sorry, O, for the word off. And I'm going to fuzz this. And the O is going to get used a second time as well. Oh, let's fuzz that one more time, it's still pretty sticky. So I'm going to place my O over here in the on the end because I know that's where that's going to go and I'm using the bottom of the black line up here to line up my letters. <clears throat> so I've got my O there. Again, dip my squeegee in some paste and just work that along like so. Remove my excess. This is a little bit more work, obviously, than working out with just one transfer, but it's not horrible. 
going to go ahead and remove that. Just like so. Okay. And again, that's going to get used a second time, so I'm going to lay that back on the backing until I'm ready for it a second time. All right, so now I'm going to come back to the word <coughs> the. I'm going to put the T down. <coughs> By now, my H is not quite dry, almost dry. So I'm going to fuzz my T. I should have my blow dryer blow drying this in between, but I forgot it. So we're going to wing it. Alright, so we're going to lay the T right next to the H. Lining, eyeballing it as best as I can. And again, it doesn't need to be perfect. Go ahead and get your paste on there. remove that and because the tea is going to get used a second time we're going to set that aside now I'm going to come over here and find my the P did I not get the P out oh my gosh you're kidding me well let me find the P <clears throat> this is my notebook Full of transfers, as you can see. Let me just pull out those letters again. I thought I had them all pulled out ahead of time. Obviously, oh, he's right on top. How lucky is that? Okay, so the word top is going to be the last word on the top, on the first row. P being the last letter in that word. So I know where this is going to get placed already. Now the P is not going to get used a second time. So we're going to go over here and place that up in this corner because that's going to be my last letter. Normally I have a water bath sitting next to me and I neglected to do that. Again, dip into your paste and just work that letter. Just like so. So when you're working with the individual letters, it's good to have a game plan before you start. Alright, so there's my P. We're done with the P. Alright, so let's go back over here to the word off. I have my letter F, and of course that's not marked on the back. You always want to mark the back of your carrier sheet so you know how the transfer goes back on. One side of the carrier sheet is paper. That's the side I write on, and the other side is shiny and that's the side that you're going to reapply your transfer back on. We're going to fuzz the F. Okay, I'm going to just test my O here. It's pretty dry. Now we're going to place the F right next to the O. Again, eyeballing it, lining it up by eyeballing. Oops. And again, if you're a little OCD about your spacing and all that, you certainly can measure this out and mark it any way you want. I like to go by the seat of my pants here. And this is for my own personal use. Okay, remove my excess. And remove that letter. Set the F aside to use a second time. And we're going to go in with the E to 
finish up the word the. So again, we're going to line up our letter. Dip into my paste. Put this E, and we're done with the E, and always check your fingers. Make sure you keep all the, as, keep your hands as clean as you can while you're working. I know if you're a true crafter, that's a hard thing to do. Let's peel up the E, set him aside. Alright, so let's go back to the O to work on the word top over here. Oh, there we go. Alright, so we're going to line up our O. Oops. My finger slipped. Looks pretty good. And we're going to need to use this O another time down on the bottom row when we get there. I'm wondering if I use the zero instead of the O. Hang on a second. Let me look. Because that O looks a little bit bigger than the rest of them. Let me just take a peek. Now let's just look through these quick like Letters and numbers, and most of our um, letter sets. Well, we're just going to go with it. <clears throat> I think that's what I did, and I think the O is probably in one of my other... Oh, you know what? Here it is. So, yes, that was the zero. So, that's okay. This is an easy fix. Let me grab a baby wipe. And I'm just going to go in here and wipe off a letter that I don't want. Easy peasy. Right there. And this one. I thought something looked a little funny when I was lining this up. Just didn't seem right to me. Well now we know why. Alright. That's what's great about the paste, is it's erasable on most surfaces. Okay, so, <laughs> let's try this again. Alright, so that's the zero. Here's the O, the correct one. All right, so we're going to fuzz this. And we're going to lay 
lay down our O, make sure that's dry from cleaning. Well, that looks better. It's the right size. Okay, back in with our paste. Excess, like so. Pull off my letter. And we're going to go right over here and use it again. Again, I'm just eyeballing. into my paste. And pull that off. We need to use the O1 last time in the word studio. So we're going to set him aside. Well, that looks better. You see the difference? Alright, so let's go back and do this F. Eyeballing my spacing. Grab some paste. So, what kind of projects would you be making for yourself? I don't know how everybody else's brain works, but when I'm out in like antique stores, flea markets, second-hand stores, I am continually looking for things. I love to repurpose. I like to, I like to uh, make old things new again. So, Now we have to do, I'm going to wait for that O to dry. So we have hair studio, H-A-I-R, that's four letters, space, five, S-T-U-D-I-O, and six. So that's five, eleven, so H-A-I-R, space, S is going to be the middle on studio. So, I'm going to fuzz my S. Put the S in the middle. Again, I'm using my letters. My black line to line up my letter. So I'm going to get some paste and do the S. And pull off the S. Put the S aside. I'm done with that. Let's do the H again. H is going to be the first letter, so I'm going to put it right underneath the O on the top, lining it up just like so. So let's do the T for finish up the top. We're going to need the T back down here. Just like so. And 
bring it down here by the S. So you get how this goes. You just individually place your letters where you want them. It's important to have a game plan before you start something like this so that you kind of know where you're going. You, your game plan can always be changed as you go. Lord knows sometimes when I'm working on something, um, it doesn't go exactly as planned. So I might have to tweak it. I had a little bleed right here. So I'm just gonna clean up that letter using a baby wipe. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I got so far. And then I am going to finish it up and I will come back and show you the finished project when I'm all done. Again, this is a sign to hang on my at my salon so people can find me. Well, here's the start of it. It's done on enamel. So I will come back and show you the finished project because I don't want to bore you sitting here showing you how to place each letter individually. But um, I hope that helps spark some interest, um, some creativity. You can personalize anything in your home. Um, any projects that you might have coming up, I'd like to like to help you with. So message me if I can help. If you have any questions, let me know, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.